a camera rig can make your life a lot easier when you're animating and help your complex shots to look a bit more convincing. In CG, we often don't think our camera is a physical object, or we forget that it is, and so we tend to pull moves that just wouldn't happen if you were filming something in real life. For example, it's pretty rare for a camera to move straight up or down. If you're actually taking a boom shot with a actual camera rig, you'd have the camera swing up a little bit instead. And subtle movements like this help really sell the shot. Having a good camera rig makes natural movement the default instead of the other way around. It'll also help make focusing and pulling a few other cinematography tricks extremely simple. So let's jump into Blender and I'll show you a simple rig that I've built, which you can download for free on my website by following the link below. If you open up the file, you'll see that I've laid out a pretty simple explanation of what each of the parts of this camera rig are. Now in this video, I'm not going to be going over how to build the actual camera rig. If you want to, uh, it was a little bit tricky, so if you want to learn how to do that, just let me know in the comments below and I can go over a separate video on how to, how to set this up. But let's just take a look at all these parts so you know how to use it when you download it. So first of all, we have this aim right here. And if we take a look through our camera, you can see that this is simply where the camera is looking. So anywhere we move our camera base, which we can move or rotate, it's always going to be looking at this exact same point. And so this is nice because we can animate it independently from the camera. So instead of having our camera, say, locked to another object, say we have a ball bouncing down the stairs, if we simply constrain the camera to be looking at the ball, we don't get a very nice animation simply because the camera isn't going to move exactly the same as the ball would. Instead, we want to have this focal point follow a little bit behind the ball, so as it bounces, we get a more natural and smooth movement. So another added benefit of having this extra focal point instead of animating the camera directly is you can clear the location or rotation of any of these objects instead of having to do that on the camera, which you can't. So it gives us a lot more freedom and flexibility as we're moving our camera around. And if you're getting more complex shots, say when you're following other objects, things like that, parenting, reparenting, um, then you're going to have a lot easier time than if you're just using a regular camera. Now a few other controls, moving on from the main aim right there, you have this focus, let me just turn these words off, all right, so you have this focus, and what that does if, if you're using cycles, is just going to be where the camera is focusing, so you can really easily uh, pull a good depth of field shot, and this will just automatically slide along where the aim is, so you can set it to anything in the scene. Another cool thing is if you go to the constraints, you can actually constrain this, say, copy location of another object in your scene, and it'll automatically stick there if you need it to, even if it's not on this axis. So you can play around with that, and it gives you a lot of flexibility. Moving on, we have this boom arm, which is just going to give us the nice low to high shots as we're rotating. We can also jack this stand up a little bit just by pressing G and grabbing it. Now, if you need your boom arm to be smaller or larger, you can just scale it. So you can scale that up or down. And lastly, we have the base that we already looked at, which you can move around for your dolly, your truck, or your pan. So that's all the controls. It's pretty simple, but it'll definitely save you some time in the long run if you're doing more complex shots. I hope you find it useful. Again, you can download it for free on my website through the link below, and I'll hope to see you in the next video. Cheers.